Okay, summing up the Drabo time. Now, by coincidence and conveniently, the Drabo has decided now to kick into its loudest level of fan noise. Because I want to talk about the fans first. Okay, I've got filming lights on here. The temperature is really uncomfortably warm now. Um, you would never work in this warmness of room. Um, I'm actually sweating a bit. And the Drobo is doing something because the Drobo share software is open, alright? And it's incredibly warm, so the Drobo's kicked into this. Ah, just went down there. Okay. Now, it's still not at its lowest fan level. Okay. The point is this it's not a problem. And I'll explain to you now why. Okay, I have seen reviews of this product on the internet. Uh, <laughs> even where, in one review, they criticised the fan noise, which you see in quite a few reviews. And in one of the reviews, they criticised the fan noise and then went on to show you a step-by-step -step photo <laughs> tutorial on how to take the unit apart and replace the fans. Which to me is just ludicrous. Look, this is a backup unit. Okay, and it's designed to store your precious data, and therefore I want the damn thing to keep the dr the drives nice and cool when it's doing something. Okay, now it, it's it won't be this noisy in a normal temperature room. Okay, but it will from time to time kick into the louder level. But the point is this: it's not a problem because it only has fan noise when you are backing up data and using it, and you only back up data in between actually working. You don't back up. You don't do big data backups in the middle of editing or in the middle of a recording session. It's just ridiculous. So, look, the bottom line is is that Drobo, you you put it into standby or turn it off completely when you're recording and doing things, and it's completely silent, all right? And then it only kicks the fans in when it's actually doing something. And with the Drobo copy, you, it'll do your backups automated for you. You don't even have to be there. So, look, it's just forget all that fan noise stuff, right? It is not a problem. All right, it, it's the fans are what they are, and they're doing things when they need to do things. But when they need to do things, you're not working. All right, so don't worry about that. Now the next thing is the manual, and Drobo can't get away with it. There, um, the manual is appallingly written. Okay, first of all, because and and the, the reason I'm criticising it so heavily. It's because the whole gist of the way Drobo is promoted is that it's you're told time and time again by the uh, Data Robotics uh, promo that it's moron proof. Okay, it's so simple to use; any idiot can do it. You don't need to know anything about technology. Never, never mind uh, building raids. It's so simple a child could use it. Just buy it, plug it in. It pretty much builds itself, and you can start backing up your data. Now, if you're going to promote a product in that way, you better get the manual right, all right? Now, the problem is the quick start first opening chapter of the manual uh, tells you in very basic steps the procedure for setting up the Drobo. Install the software, put in your drives, connect up the Drobo, and off you go. But then the more in-depth install section of the manual says it the other way around. Can build your Drobo, connect it up, then install the software. So they contradict each other, which is just unacceptable, right? And then on top of that, whichever one you follow, it'll, it tells you quite clearly in the manual that when you install the software, it will automatically search for updates, which is just not true. It doesn't do that, all right? Software updates only occur when the unit is connected and powered up. But Whichever way around you install the damn thing, whether you put the you connect the unit first and put the software on, or install the software first and then connect the unit, if you do it by when you go to install the software, it tells you quite clearly disconnect the bloody Drobo. So it doesn't matter which way around you do it, the Drobo isn't on at the point you install the software, and it will not look for software updates. So that is just unacceptable. So, uh, you know, Data Robotics, seriously, guys, you've got to get that manual looked at. You've got to get someone who can write manuals properly. And check your manuals, for God's sake. You know, get someone who knows the product to check the manual. Now, my suggestion is scrap the stupid opening chapter in the book, you know, which is about as much use as a chocolate teapot. I mean, it's crap. Just get rid of it and instead have one of those big sheets like you get with a motherboard that opens out, big a 2 size bit of paper with simple line drawings labelled one, two, three, four, etc., giving you a really, really simple, step-by-step, -step, accurate guide to setting up Drobo. And then the manual 
is when you want to know the in-depth stuff, all right? And that quick start guide should include some proper explanation about this whole 16 terabyte volume format thing, because the manual doesn't say a thing about it. <coughs> now, I've, I've got loads of raids in this place, and I had to go and, you know, sort of, well, hang on, I, mean, I had to just check what the hell was going on there. I mean, look, here in the manual, after you choose the, the, the file type, uh, the file system type, right? This is the bit where it obviously the 16 terabyte, 8 terabyte volume format. And all it says is, you will be shown the message to the right, asking you to select a volume size. The available size is based on which file system type you picked. We, re we recommend that you pick the volume size that will be able to store all of your files for the foreseeable future. This is not a good enough explanation. If you're talking about people who are not in any way technically, technically experienced, and they know they put two 500 gig drives in it, and then you're telling them, hey, choose four terabyte, two terabyte, eight terabyte or 16, no, I'm sorry, that's just not on. And one stupid paragraph that gives no explanation at all, it's just not on. All right, I'm sorry, no, not good enough. Okay, so there you go, that's my, um, that's my gripes. Uh, with the manual, which is probably good for lighting fires, you know, that's about it. Um, get it written properly, guys. And oh, okay, now this is what it says about the 16 terabyte bit in the quick start section. You will be showing the message to the right asking you to, to select a volume size, the available size is about it's the same thing, just <laughs> sod all. Okay, no, 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 naughty, 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 drobo. Uh, get it right all right so that's what I think so there's me gripe out the way uh, which just leaves the good stuff which is that I love Drobo I absolutely love it and I'll tell you what if you're looking for a backup solution think about this Drobo 300 quid including VAT street price you can get it set up and running with two 250 or 500 gig drives for under 400 quid now What's your alternatives? You can buy something like a GTEC or another proprietary RAID unit that is like a sealed unit with two discs in it ready to go. But those things are pushing up to sort of 300 notes. So you're not spending a lot more to get the Drobo up and running. But you can expand Drobo. Whereas your fixed two discs units, they're not expandable. Once they're full, that's it, mate. It's all over. So you've got to think of Drobo like that, that it might cost a little bit more initially but it can, it'll expand and expand and expand and expand and even at today's date it'll expand up to 8 terabytes okay because we don't we don't have bigger than 2 terabyte SATA drives but in the not too distant future we're going to go you know SATA drives will come out above 2 terabytes and then you can push it all the way up as as far as it will go up to 16 terabytes yeah so it's got that expansion ability which your fixed units don't have so i th i say even though it costs a bit more initially, have a damn good think about where you're spending your money because this will expand as your needs grow. And data never gets smaller, man. No matter what happens, you just have more and more and more damn data that needs to be backed up. So uh, a system that grows, I don't see really how you can overlook it. Okay, so there you go. There's your summing up. Uh, I hope this has been useful. I wanted it to be a little bit more than the terrible corporate promo on the Drobo website, and I certainly wanted it to be a bit more than your typical YouTube, uh, you know, bloke sitting by his Drobo. Wow, hey, my Drobo is here, isn't it cool? I, you know, it's just a diary showing you what to really expect when you buy the unit. And now I've shown you the, the problems and what the solutions are. Uh, yes, now you, it is more on proof. Just, just. You know, I've shown you everything you need to know. Shall I say you go, Drobo? I love it. And I've got to think of a little pet name for it now. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll call it Doris. Doris the Drobo. Or Dolores. Or maybe I'll just choose a name that doesn't begin with D. That's really abstract, like Hog Beast. <laughs> or something like that, because it is a bit of a hog beast. Okay. Anyway. Oh, I love it. Oh, me Drobo. I've been waiting for one of these for a long time. And, uh... Yeah, great. Beautiful looking object. Uh, oh yeah, one last thing, the lights. Now they're on. <laughs> but honestly, they're very, very subtle. And you don't get that capacity indicator when you first fire it up because there's nothing on the drive. But these, these are actually illuminated, they're on. But I tell you, it's very subtle. 
and at first in a brightly lit room with daylight you can't see if the lights are on at all and you think that it's faulty but uh, it's not it's just that they've decided to go with a very subtle light display and uh, that really is a bonus when you are in a partially illuminated room then the lights are beautiful and subtle and they're not intrusive at all but uh, you know if you want glaring lights just 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 have the front off right and as I say most of the time it's sitting there in standby and it's completely silent all right so Drobo it's a winner in my book hope that's been useful stay tuned for the next one